Sturm is live from the facility with some of the happiest pets she's ever seen. Alex, even a pool. I mean, yeah, it's hard not to be happy in a place like this. It truly is like a country club, but for those four legged friends. So right now we are hanging out at the pool area, just like a regular country club. Scott, yeah. what is this pool used for? So this is for dogs just like Goose that love to swim. And uh, what we when we created this, we wanted it to be a very natural feel so that the dog could swim in and swim out and have no steps, just like if it was a pond or a lake. Wow, and yeah. so that's kind of, that's kind of the, the thought process behind it. And uh, Goose, you ready? Goose. I mean, and, how, what's the temperature of this pool oh, right now? It's about now? 62 degrees right now. Okay. Uh, so it's a little cool, but she's used to the water. Um, and then the other really cool feature that we wanted is there are some dogs um, that don't like to swim, like Goose does. She enjoys to swim. <laughs> and that they just want to kind of splash. So we created this area over to the side. Goose. We created this area over to the side where dogs could step in and not get, you know, fully immersed nice. and still be able to play with the water and enjoy and interact with it um, in enriching ways without having to physically, you know, paddle. <laughs> so when do typically dog when do dogs typically use this? Like when is this in implemented? So it's available for our all of our boarding dogs that come stay with us, um, and also our daycare dogs. And it's also used as an enrichment therapy pool for grand dogs that are rehabilitating. Water therapy is a really good way for uh, them to kind of reacclimate themselves into the world while they're trying to get adopted. That's incredible. Looking yeah. out this way, we see a lot of like little like potty pads. Is uh -huh. that what they are? So yeah. This is just right outside of their rooms, right? Right, exactly, yeah. So we're, our main facility is just in the building there and they, uh, they, can come, they can come out, they use their potty areas or we have real grass yards um, in the back there. And then when they're, when they're ready, if they want to, they can come and swim. Goose. Oh my gosh. I mean, I feel like Goose is just living the best life that's right, right now. That's and right. And that's the goal when, when you have animals come here, right? What other services do you guys offer? Yeah, so we have a big nature trail that goes around all the exterior of the property and walks right through the woods. And um, we have cuddle sessions and we have <laughs> peanut butter Kongs and pumpkin Kongs and bully sticks and play times in our parks and our turf. And so we have a lot of ways to help enrich the dogs. Whatever every dog likes, we have something for them. That's incredible. I feel like I've said I've seen the happiest dogs ever <laughs> since I've been here. But I think I've also met some of the happiest people because they get to play with these animals all day long, guys. <laughs> I love it. That actually seems like a great gig, too. You've really yeah. got to be a dog person, though, to be around so many different animals that are not your own. <laughs> mm -hmm. so. but, but it can be, it's different because they're not your own, so you have more fun with them. You go home and then you can chill. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Alex, so quick true. question. What do you think the temperature of the water is? Is it heated or is it just a little chilly because dogs usually don't care anyway? So he said it was 61 degrees, ah. uh, which is why I'm going to stay on this side of things. Yeah.